All right, guys. <clears throat> now let's try this again. I am uh, losing the battery on this camera. It is a foggy Friday morning. Foggy Friday morning here in the end times in paradise. It, crazy crane cramp gown. I say that three times before your first cup of coffee. Here in the Point Lonesome Swamp on this lovely foggy Friday morning, December 3rd, 2021, I believe, heading to 77 degrees today in the Oasis of Freedom. I hear some crazy cranes flying by, so we're waiting for a brother Warren to come pay us a visit. Are you getting squirrelies or not? Did you find a squirrelie or not? And, uh, so anyway, I'm sitting here having my morning coffee. Uh, so last night I mentioned uh, in this short video my new favorite YouTube channel, which is Omeletto. O-M-E-L-E-T-O. Omeletto, the single greatest YouTube channel on the planet. Uh, so what I did is I binged on suicide uh, movies last night. Omeletto, what it is are these short films, anywhere from 5 to 30 minutes, where they like put an entire movie into 5 to 30 minutes. And it is the most, the single most intelligent, uh, it, it's, it's indie filmmaking is what it is. It's all sorts of independent, independent filmmakers. So I went on the search <coughs> in Omeletto and put in suicide, which of course quickly brought in depression and bipolar disorder and of course the big L word loneliness and uh, so I binged on suicide short films about suicide and it quickly became uh, apparent to me the overriding theme not surprisingly in, in these was loneliness I did not see as, as I recall I did not find one single um, short film on Omeletto talking about anybody being depressed about the state of the planet. Uh, it was, you know, over and over and over and over again, uh, the recurring theme was obviously depression. And the reason people being depressed is they discover how just totally empty and worthless and pointless their fucking existence is. And then uh, one of the number one reasons for that is that on a planet of 8 billion people, 8 fucking billion people, they have not been able to find one you know, one soulmate, twin flame, whatever uh, the words you want to use, that they have failed to make a connection with one other, you know, life partner. And that just going through the motions alone, and of course, eating alone. As i mentioned many times, uh, the Greek philosopher Epicurus calling eating alone the single most depressing activity that a human being can uh, endure. And my guess is one of the main reasons that Lulu blew her brains out was, was eating alone. It just there's nothing that makes you feel just like an utter fucking failure. Uh, to sit down and eat alone, and I'm sure you've heard of these things. They're popular 
I think especially in Korea, or probably everywhere in the planet now, where there's usually an attractive young woman, and, and she charges uh, just to go on. What you do is uh, she makes her dinner. She sits there and cooks dinner and eats dinner with the camera on her and charges people, and I'm sure the vast majority of which are lonely middle-aged men, just to sit down and watch an attractive young woman make dinner and eat it uh, while talking about her day. Uh, the, these women are, are unbelievably successful and any attractive young woman listening to this, you can probably make some money. Uh, just dinner with Lulu. Uh, <laughs> it, it's just really a sign of, uh, of where we've come. Uh, pretty much as a global society, that this epidemic of loneliness. I mean, it, it, it just sucks. Um, you know, you can go out in, in the most beautiful places, uh, hang out in the most beautiful weather, like the, the weather forecast here for the next two in, in Florida, unbelievable. The most gorgeous weather forecast on the planet. I live in this beautiful place. I am surrounded by all of this beautiful place to go, you know, canoeing and kayaking and hiking and uh, j just motivating yourself to get up. Uh, I, I mean, if it wasn't for, for Sancho Panza, uh, I would never get out of this chair. You know, at least he motivates me to uh, get out there a little bit and... I don't know, they, they, these folks who act like, and, and maybe it's true, uh, right here in the tribe, I know Colony of Cells certainly is an example of this, these people who act like they are happier alone, um, then, then of course, you know, you get into the whole bad relationship thing, which is a, you know, which is a whole nother line of hell, being in a bad, uh, bad marriage, bad relationship. Uh, there's nothing lonelier than uh, finally finding your fucking soulmate and after a couple of years uh, realizing that you fucked up again and you need to extricate yourself from this mistake you have made. I mean, talk about just truly feeling ready to put a bullet through your head is the, is the bad relationship. So it's like those are your two choices. Oh, God. But I don't see a lot of people uh, putting bullets through their head because of climate change yet anyway. So I have been suffering, I, I don't know why, it, it makes absolutely no sense that since arriving here, I have been suffering from uh, the worst insomnia that I, I've always suffered from insomnia, but for some reason since arriving here, my insomnia has just gone completely out of control and uh, I'm trying all different uh, sleeping drugs and I will say this shit called clonopin. I only have a few of these things. My God, clonopin. If you really need to go to sleep, get, get your goddamn hands on some clonopin. I've only got about a dozen of these things left and it's going to be a sad day. So I parcel them out. Uh, but other than resorting to clonopin, so what happens is, you know, I, I go to sleep all right, and then I get up to pee. Usually about 4 o'clock in the morning. I have to get up and pee and, and get a drink of water and whatnot. 
and then my mind starts racing. And I pretty much every day, I, I just lie there in bed with my mind just uh, just racing on and on. You, you know, I, you do this shit with counting backwards from a hundred <clears throat> and all of that stuff. Uh, and, you know, it's what one of, probably the main thing that Don Juan Matus and Carlos Castaneda talk about is quieting your mind, the internal dialogue. Although I don't know why it's dialogue, it's this internal monologue. And uh, so I'm starting to, and so I'm lying there trying to catalog what it is that uh, keeps me just sitting there tossing and turning with this noise in my brain. I'm talking three fucking hours every single night of the week unless I take a goddamn clonopin. Uh, just sitting there with this movie playing in my mind. And I would say, yes little dog, do you want to come back in here? What, are you done chasing? But you come in, you're done with the squirrelies already? Uh, I would say out of every three hours that keeps me tossing and turning at night, the state of the planet, you know, the, the climate, the Amazon deforestation, the melting ice caps, the sixth mass extinction, uh, you take all of that doomer shit and combine it, every bit of it, and I would say 5%, whatever, 5% of three hours, I would say I might spend at most 10 minutes tossing and turning about the fact that this planet is collapsing around us. Uh, it, it barely registers on my mind, okay? And, and so you can imagine where the subject uh, places on, you know, on clueless morons' minds. I, I mean, this fucking eco-Nazi, this depressed, collapsitarian eco-Nazi. I barely think about it when I'm tossing and turning. It has nothing to do with my insomnia. Uh, so obviously, I would say 50% of what goes through my tangled brain is, you know, is just the shit that I need to do uh, in the next 24 hours. The, you know, the, the projects uh, I have to do, the uh, people uh, I have to call, the bullshit that, that I'm going to have to deal with. Uh, that kind of stuff, you know, making this metal checklist, don't forget to do this, don't forget to do that. It, it, you know, it's just the fucking bullshit that all of us go through to get through the next fucking 24 hours. That's 50% of it. And then, of course, you, you know, the farther out you get from 24 hours, uh, it's, it's that first 24 hours, uh... It, it, it is what eats your brain, but after that kind of stuff, you, you, you know, just the daily fucking, the daily grind bullshit that every one of us uh, deals with. Uh, once I've made that checklist, uh, the, the balance of my fucking energy is just thinking uh, about the absolute hopeless pointlessness of my existence, that, that I am never going to, uh, to find a, a, a woman. I, I, again, I am going to go to my grave, uh, <clears throat> sitting here with my little dog, you know, sitting here talking to my little imaginary friends on YouTube and whatnot. You know, I... 
actually had two dates with this woman from Pile of Fish uh, earlier this week. And uh, she just told me at the, at the end of the second date uh, <clears throat> that she just said, Sam, you, you have no chance of ever finding a woman that no woman down here in Florida is, is going to put up with your bullshit uh, of leaving and, and, just, and just heading off to New York and just leaving her. Uh, that that no woman in her right fucking mind is is gonna let herself uh, you know get in a relationship with you with this snowbird shit and it's not even the doomer shit. She actually enjoys uh, Collapse Chronicles. Now she doesn't know about Humpty Dumpty Tribe, but she watched. She has no problem with Collapse Chronicles. You know, she says that that shouldn't scare off any woman, and and if, and if Collapse Chronicles scares off any woman uh, from being interested in me, then it's a woman that I shouldn't be interested in anyway. And uh, so, according to her, it's not the Doomer shit; it's the Snowbird shit that my chance of of, of finding a woman. And, and, and then what happened uh, three days ago is I hear from this woman uh, the number one most perfect match I have ever found on Pile of Fish. What, in three fucking years? The woman I have been waiting for. She, uh, I, I, I go to my little mailbox three days ago, and, and this woman, uh, this absolute the closest thing to a perfect match that I have ever encountered on, on, on fucking pile of fish in three years starts off, I love, love, love your profile. She's a dog rescuer. Uh, she has a little RV. She loves traveling around in her little RV. She's looking for a man uh, who, you know, who loves little dogs, loves traveling around to pretty places, uh, you know, road trips to nowhere. Uh, she's into kayaking, canoeing, all of this stuff. So I responded back to her that I really wanted to talk to her. And I would, uh, I would call that I was busy. I would call her in a few hours. Three and a half hours later, I go back on to get back in touch with her. And there is no sign of the woman anywhere on Pile of Fish. She has completely disappeared off of Pile of Fish. Gone. I, 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 I've gone through every possible avenue, so apparently she freaked out and yanked down her goddamn profile. And, uh, you know, it, it is a cruel fucking universe. Uh, so I've been thinking a lot about that for three days, but, uh, you know, why is it so fucking hard? You know, Greg Brown um, has an excellent song. I think it's just like, why is it so fucking hard to... Why is it so fucking difficult? You know, I, I, I've been blaming it on this Doomer shit my entire life. Uh, you know, since, since I was like 15 years old. I, I I would I would get a girlfriend. Uh, we'd last a few years, whatever. Whether it was three months or three years, uh, we'd end up getting in a big fucking fight. She'd go her way, I'd go mine, and you know, within at the most within ninety days, I would just get another girlfriend. You know, I would just go out and get another girlfriend. I I. I it, it was just like, you know, moving, but like it was like getting a new job, buying a new car, moving to a new house. You buy a new car, you get a new girlfriend, uh, and and 
it just so happened that when I uh, went down this fucking Doomer rabbit hole, all of that shit just, just overnight ended. But anyway, uh, that is the reason people fucking kill themselves. It's the reason Lulu killed herself. Uh, it's when she got her kids taken away. And here she was living in the, you know, in this beautiful place. She had this little slice of paradise, and of course she used my property like hers. She had this little slice of paradise at the end of the road. She had her, uh, she had her motorboat where she could get out and crank up her boat and and, and go uh, out through all of this, you know all through these lakes and uh, in, in, in this beautiful area. Uh, what it was, the reason she pulled her that trigger uh, was because I, I'm pretty sure the final straw was having her kids taken away from her by the family court and being declared uh, correctly an unfit mother uh, that she had no business uh, raising two uh, ra raising two kids. Uh, so there you go. Uh, that is the reason that that people kill themselves. I I'm pretty sure more people kill themselves over being lonely than being in a bad relationship. I'm sure some people kill themselves other than getting out of the bad relationship. Uh, but my guess is the, the, the reason people commit suicide by orders of magnitude, probably by 50 to 1, it, it, it's that what's the fucking point uh, of, of, of doing this alone with nobody to support you. And, and as much as I love my little imaginary friends on YouTube and whatnot, it's not the same. We all know goddamn well that, that, it, that it is not the same. I mean, friends are very important. I love my friends uh, here in the Dumasphere and elsewhere, but you know, goddamn well, it's not what I'm talking about. And I'm not talking about pussy. Now, obviously, pussy is part of it, but the older you get, uh, you know, sex uh, is the least. Uh, of what I'm talking about here. Uh, obviously, uh, I would like to be in a relationship uh, w with a w with a woman that I'm sexually attracted to and have a nice sex life. But that 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 has it, it, it's when when I am lying there uh, tossing and turning for three hours. I I'm I'm honestly not thinking. Uh, about about pussy. Well, I, I mean, I'm not going to say I never am. If I'm thinking about pussy, well, I, I take about ten minutes uh, out of out of my uh, out of my tossing and turning and take care of that. And, and I'm not thinking uh, uh, about some sixty-year-old woman. But uh, you know, when I'm thinking about uh, <clears throat> you, you, you know. A, um, a a woman basically my age with my life experience uh, I'm I, I'm trying not to think about her pussy okay if you get my drift that, that, that I, I don't want to think about her pussy uh, we, we're not going to get into that uh, the old used up pussy rant again uh, I, I'm thinking about having a goddamn companion. I'm thinking about getting up and, and you know, and, and having a cup of coffee um, and, and going on a kayaking trip or a hike or taking a road trip to nowhere, uh, you know, enjoying a margarita over the sunset. Uh, <clears throat> you 
Anyway. And my guess is that is what most people are thinking about when they put the fucking bullet through their head. I, you know, I, I just, one thing I wonder about suicides, I mean, what was the last thought, the last thought that Lulu had in her head before she pulled that trigger? The, the very last thing that came into that tangled brain of hers before she actually pulled the trigger. What was the final, final uh, thought of just how completely fucking hopeless and pointless uh, her existence was to, uh, I, I mean, it, it takes fucking balls to do that. To have that damn gun at the side of your head. Uh, just lo looking and, and finding no way out. But anyway, she found her way out, and it sure as hell uh, saved my ass uh, this winter because it is a different world down here without uh, without Lulu. So Lulu, here's to you, girl. If you hadn't been such a nasty fucking bitch, uh, maybe you could have been my doomer chick forever. Jesus Christ. But anyway, I'm going to wrap up this, uh, this wine. I'm going to wrap up this doomsday lonely heart wine. Uh... And I, oh yeah, it's Friday morning, so I need to do my Manga Bay roundup, my ecological meltdown roundup over there on Collapse Chronicles. Then Brother Warren is coming for a visit, and uh, so at least I will have some company. Uh, it will be nice to have some company in the Point Lonesome Swamp. So come down and see me. Enjoy your tossing and turning, thinking about your miserable, pointless, lonely existence while you still can. Bye, guys.